<laughs> well, Bob's making it so oldie the Ferris wheel he built for Fred the kids and little circular merry-go-round, I think he calls it. to get a demonstration. The kids started hollering, he's got the key, he's That's got the, the key. Deal, that Robin, he stays busy. I don't know what he's going to make. Yeah, they don't just turn it on, Joe. Here, here's Jane's husband. Hadn't been running. I know. We're going. We're going. Bob, I believe you're going to have to put some oil on it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Put it on high speed. Yeah, put it on high. Put it on high. Go. And Amanda and Joby belong to Jim Ellis. And they belong to Jim Ellis. Jim Gebler's daughter. Uh, how, what, what you say? Stephanie. 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 How old are you? How old am I? Yeah. 39. 39. Well, you was nine years old when we was in... I'm Santa Monica, I guess. It's been 30 years since I saw you. Oh, that's my nephew, Fred. Mary Jane. Oh, no. I say, you're the oldest of the uh, kids, aren't you, Mary Jane? I'm the oldest of Brown and Mabel's grandchildren. Wow, that's right. <laughs> that, that's, you hate to admit that? <laughs> no, I'm not that much older than you are, Alex. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, load it up. Oh, that one fleet. They were. Bob could open up his own carnival here if he keeps building stuff. Keep going, Uncle Bob. Okay, I got this. And, um, and uh, 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 and Get on, Mary Jane, while you're there. I said, why didn't you go ahead and get on? Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You have some of Fred's grandkids. Uh, that's Andy. Andy. Took a laugh to Fred and Sue. 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 Right, now, who, who's Andy now? Is that? It belongs to Creel. I mean, but uh, is that... Fred's daughter? Or no, 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 no. Who? That would be Grandma Mabel's no. mother's no. sister's no. grandson. Go Spit on her horn a bottle. You guys went off? No! We're taking a ride over to the old log house. Well, there's old shed. Back part of the Red River Ranch. The house itself. Hold you over there. I asked you to get in and look it over. Snow gets real deep there and lays against there and rocks it up. Oh, I just showed them the, this came out of the Elk, Elk City Hotel or the Dixie Hotel. That you put your Wash bowl and pitcher up here if you want to take a bath. Put the slop jar there and you hang your towels over the ends. 
these people in the upper valley, it was their organ. We called them Uncle Well Net Finley. But when they left here, they left the organ. And this old piano it was, it was, came in here. I don't know how it came. I, they told me, uh, your dad told me one time we was talking yeah. about it, he said that they hauled it in here on pack mutes. Uh -huh. Back See, before there was any roads in this country. The, the, legs, the legs screw off. Well, did that come out of one of those old hotels, or did yeah. it uh, came out of the old Dixie Hotel or something? Uh, I've heard Mabel would play it some, and that's organ over here did too. In fact, is that might have been the piano that Mabel was playing on that record, was it, Bob? No, that'd be the other piano. No. Hmm. Well, I've got them at home. I thought Gene Austin, not Gene Autry. Austin. One that uh, recorded just Bali and me. Oh. I bet they got one on there. I like the Odie to hear him sing. Yeah. Bedroom where all of the boys slept. These are not the same beds. Most two beds wasn't here. But seven boys occupied this one room. This old chair here was built in 1903. It says so on the bottom of it, the guy that built it. Made so, with wooden pegs. You know, there's no nails in it, all of it. Put together with wooden pegs. From Hayden, New York. Right, Rochester, New York. Came out of the old Dixie Hotel. Mike one, circa 1995. And all of this is in the upstairs hallway where the boys slept. There's three other bedrooms upstairs. This one was occupied by the hired man. This one by the hired woman. And then one around the corner here where they boarded a school teacher that taught right up the street about a mile. Remember that all these handrails and everything were made with hand, hand tools. Now the design on it is like a modern handrail would. When the house was first built, it wasn't through the stairways, and the boys all had to climb a step ladder, I mean a ladder, to get up to the bedroom. Mabel and Clint's room, downstairs. And next to it was the bedroom stage. Of course, Sergio was just about four or five years ago when they moved down to County House, so this was primarily the burgers area to stay in. The kitchen table, used to there was a long bench. Now there was one long bench on the other side now, but there used to be one on this side and one chair at each end of the table. Is that still a wood stove over there, Bob? Yeah. That's where Mabel did all of her cooking. It was a bigger stove than that one. She uh, mm -hmm. she blowed it up. She put a can of beans in there and, and <laughs> never put a bin in it and just blowed the oil in the, the stove. Oh, blowed. safe. But remember when she put that design on it, painted it with red paint. It's, uh, and you say that was made for a burger when she's a little girl? Well, he, he had it for his little girl and then gave it to Berta. Mm -hmm. But look at how that's... You can see how it's more. That was bright red paint at one time. Old organ that Mabel used to play. So that was hauled down, you say, by pack mules? There are horses. Horse mules. The old Victrola still has records, still works. Victrola has joined us. You say Dick and Dwayne over next door, huh? Yeah, they're over in the Trailer house, in the motor home. Kitchen where Here, Here's the beam that Bob says they just brought a log out of the woods out in front of the house, and that whole beam was cut out of one tree and done with the broad axe. Come here, Alan. Look, we got a tree going up there for the house. Come on, Ogie. I'm coming. Look at the tree now. Oh my god!
it's a lilac tree over here, and if it is, it's going to be beautiful. That's the, the girl's house. Oh, that's that's the outhouse. The girl's part. Yeah, it? Mama wrote hern on it. <laughs> Mama wrote hern on that one, and his one on that one. If you get down close, you can see it. Ended up just using mud from just clay from up and above the road. But this was concrete here. You sure that concrete wasn't added in the later years? No, that's original. They decided it was too expensive, and so they just went to mud. Just clay. Above there used to be a little thing right here, screened in that they um, kept, you know, meat and things that wanted to be kept cool. Well, the cellar. You they tore you tore something down. Yeah, they tore the cellar off. It's, it went out this way. Oh, I see. And that's just the barn there? No, it's the woodshed. Woodshed. And the barn was back around over yonder. Yeah. They're right. <laughs> you, you don't have to stop up. You just touch away while I'm recording. <laughs> that's Gordon says the other one says his. Nick finally come in. Now, which one of y'all is that? Which one of you is Dwayne? I'm Dwayne, and this is Dottie. Hi. 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 Dwayne, are you going to ride with this young lady here? Or? Am I what? Well, your wife died. Is that you going to ride with this young lady home here? Yes, or? this young lady here. Right. Go kill her husband, though. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to tell Scott that I'm not quite ready to retire. <laughs> y'all tell Linda hello. It's been two or three years since y'all went out house down together. Yeah, tell <laughs> <laughs> well, We had a moose coming right up to visit with us. Move over a little, little bit further, Odie. Oh, you must have got too close. She's moving out. Almost walked right up to the fence a while ago. some salt on the ground down there and that's what you came in to get evidently. They like them salt lakes. Sergio says sometimes they get so tired of they'll just lay down there beside it and eat the salt. And here's what are you watching the boost Sergio. Down behind the post. <laughs> this is yours that it's Sergio's house. Beautiful backyard. 
There's a waterfall down there. All the mud's gone. Well, I didn't even take pictures of it. Red River Hot Springs, because it changed too much. Next you had to, but there's one thing that hadn't changed all that much. And that's the Red River. Those are, but they're sure profuse up here and beautiful. Well, there's the remains of the old bridge that I used to walk across. Backyard of the Red River Ranch. With all, all the little trees that used to be there. Hmm. One or two of her kids and much of the other relatives I don't really know. And up the Red River through his backyard so it wouldn't wash out the bridge I just showed. Okay. Odie trying to learn how to scam rocks or trying to show him one or the other. Mm. That's Fred's new place way over across the meadow. See it, but between those trees right there, there's some aspen back there, and that's where the original home place was that they lived in until they built a new one. Friends of the old barn over the meadow, and people walking up towards Burgers' house and Sergio's. Well, now there's two deer down beside the moose. Moose left, and came back. Hope I can get up close enough to see them all right before they run off. They're more skittish than the old moose is. Well, here's what John K. refers to as my crazy nephew, Bob. Well done on the toy he built for the kids. A go around. Yeah. 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 Yeah.